Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this video. In this one, I wanted to give you, uh, make you aware of a security advisory that uh, we got from VMware yesterday and and it's like all over the internet right now. Uh, it's a pretty serious one. If you look at it, I am on their webpage uh, where they releases the security advisories. And I'm gonna give you this link in this video. But what it is, you see the updated on, the last updated uh, yesterday, 2.23, today is 2.24. Um, and uh, CVSS V3 range, it's going up to 9.8. And here's the advisory ID if you're interested in. And what it is, it's a remote code execution vulnerability. Okay, and this VMware it, it affects VMware uh, ESXi and vCenter server updates it addresses this particular release addresses release this security vulnerability that are uh, if you look at uh, familiar with the cve it's uh, fixes cve 2021 21972 21973 and 21974 again if you look at the impacted products vmware esxi uh, vmware vcenter server uh, and the vmware cloud foundation so all three uh, different type of uh, offerings are affected by this particular vulnerability and what is interesting about this vulnerability uh, it's related to port 443 and as soon as i as i say 443 you probably you are thinking about okay that's a that's a, a port for the web traffic so you typically you would either use http uh, port 80 for your clear text traffic or encrypted traffic you will be using port 443 but usually firewall they will have rules to allow that port to be open so whenever i see problem with these ports i take this very seriously so if you look at the description what it's saying first of all it's this update addresses the remote code execution vulnerability in the vSphere client uh, the vSphere client client which is html5 base contains a remote code execution vulnerability in a vcenter plugin uh, they have evaluated the severity and they are rating it uh, in the critical severity range and and the maximum they are assigning is a 9.8 and you know that uh, cvss v3 score is from 0 to 10 10 being the highest so this is very darn close to you know very very critical Again, so the known attack vector, uh, if someone has a network access to the port 443, uh, may exploit this issue to execute commands with unrestricted privileges on underlying operating system that hosts a vCenter server. That's uh, pretty serious. And uh, resolution, you have the update. Uh, just get the update in the fixed person column and just uh, apply the patch. Over here, uh, you can look at it. A workaround uh, if you want to apply uh, there is some stuff in here as well you can read up the KB articles over here uh, over here the response metrics and impacted product suites and deployed response metrics so you can read up some more stuff over here as well uh, the other couple uh, that also got fixed in this particular uh, security advisory is the other one with the CV 2021-21974 this one also got a pretty high uh, security score or, or, or CVSS score of 8.8 .8. and in this one is also related to another port it port uh, 427 and if you fix this uh, they if someone uh, residing within the same network segment as ESXi who has access to this particular port might be able to trigger the heap overflow issue in the open slp service resulting in a remote code execution so this is again another remote code execution and again related to open port vulnerability so i would treat that uh, pretty high uh, severity as well uh, look at uh, the last one they have fixed in this particular release uh, this is uh, the cvss base score is lower so this is not as critical but again it's the uh, related to the network access to port 443 and this particular issue is about a server-side request forgery vulnerability due to improper validation of URLs in a vCenter plugin uh, server plugin uh, again uh, you can uh, uh, your CV ID for this particular one is 21973 and again you can get the get the patch to be able to fix this problem as well 
So just to make you all of you aware that this is a pretty serious vulnerability and since a lot of us we use vCenter pretty heavily to create our data center cloud architecture and environment this you should this one should be in your radar and you should be doing everything to make sure this is getting fixed as soon as possible thank you for watching hope uh, this information is useful to you subscribe if you like thanks have a great day